It all happened when I was five. I hardly understood anything. It was only scary because my mom was crying. Our house was blown up by a shell. Mom grabbed me and we ran. We were traveling somewhere for a long time and mom was crying all the time. I kept thinking, how many tears does she have? I was feeling sad for my teddy bear that I abandoned in the ruins. In haste, we didn't have time to collect him. I felt sorry for him. We didn't have many toys. Everyone lived in poverty. Just the absolute necessity. Finally, we have arrived into a big city, a far cry from our village. We had to settle somehow. I have started going to school. I was so happy. We were given a school uniform. I couldn't stop admiring myself twirling in front of the mirror. We had good children in the class, and we quickly became friends. We were celebrating all holidays together, and skipping school together. Why not? We were only kids, and we wanted to have fun. This is when he noticed me, my Zamin. He wasn't saying anything, just watching me for a long time. In the 10th form, he came to talk to my mom by himself. Where did he get so much courage? His parents were against it. His mother was a teacher in our school, a very strict one. He didn't obey them. He is like that if he decides anything, that is how it will be. A very stubborn man. My mom agreed. He was a good man and his family was good. I didn't have a father. Many of us lost our fathers at that time. We got married as soon as I finished the school. He had just entered university and was working at the same time. It was difficult at the start, but his parents started helping us out. When Mamad was born, they completely melted. They were visiting us so often, they almost could have moved in with us. At the end of the day, Zamin was their only son. His sisters were little, it was too long to wait for more grandchildren. They were spoiling my Mamad. Nevertheless, he was growing into a fine boy. His dad was bringing him up as a man. Though he couldn't resist Yagana, she had wrapped him around her little finger. Mamad went to school early. He was a big boy, born in November, and he was allowed to begin school earlier. He is so funny. I have asked him, Mamad, are you going to study well? He answered, I can't not to. My grandmother is the teacher. He went to our school. My first teacher was his first teacher. When I was sending him off, it was as if I was watching myself from afar. My life is not special. It's the same as everyone else's life. But I would have it if I had the chance to grow up. Are you, are you coming to the tree where I told you to run so we'd both be free? Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging